I'm going to assume you already know how to divide complex numbers when they're in rectangular form, but how do you divide complex numbers when they're in trig form? Here are two general complex numbers, z1 equals r times cosine alpha plus i sine alpha, and z2 equals s times cosine beta plus i sine beta. I'm going to divide these two and come up with a formula. So let me start with z1 over z2. That's going to be r cosine alpha plus i sine alpha, s cosine beta plus i sine beta. And you remember the trick when you're dividing complex numbers to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So just this part, you don't have to worry about the s. And the conjugate of this denominator is cosine beta minus i sine beta. I have to multiply the top and bottom. And this product, because it'll end up giving me a difference of squares, will actually end up being a real number. Let's see that. So we have s. Actually, let me pull the r over s out in front. So we've got the r over s here times. And then cosine beta plus i sine beta times cosine beta minus i sine beta is cosine squared beta minus i squared sine squared beta. And then on the top, we've got cosine alpha, cosine beta. And the other real term is going to be the product of these two guys, minus i squared sine alpha sine beta. And then i sine alpha cosine beta. And minus i cosine alpha sine beta. OK, that's a lot. So let's take a look at this. This denominator, remember that i squared is negative 1, so minus i squared is plus 1. This is cosine squared beta plus sine squared beta. By the Pythagorean identity, this denominator is 1. And so we're left with just the numerator, r over s times that numerator. So let me copy that up here. z1 over z2 is r over s times, and again, i squared is negative 1, so this will become plus sine alpha sine beta. Cosine alpha cosine beta. Cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta. And then, actually, I'm going to need a bracket here, plus i times. I'm going to pull the i out of these two terms, and I'll be left with sine alpha cosine beta minus cosine alpha sine beta. Sine alpha cosine beta minus cosine alpha sine beta. OK, this is it. Finally, what's cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta? This is one of the addition formulas for cosine, right? It's the cosine of a difference. Remember, the cosine of a difference has a plus sign in it. So it's cosine of alpha minus beta. And then plus i times, and this is the sine of alpha minus beta. And what this reveals is, if you want to divide two numbers, two complex numbers, you divide their moduli and you subtract their arguments. That's the thing to remember. To divide two complex numbers, divide their moduli, and subtract their arguments.